One of, if not my favourite ever player to play the beautiful game has got an end of an era card in FIFA 23. Sergio Busquets. I might go on a bit of a rant about how much I love him. But, you know, this 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 man was pivotal in all of the Barcelona sides. And without him, Iniesta and Xavi would not have been able to excel. And that Barcelona team would have been able to excel without this man sitting deep and doing the defending. A oh, man, what a player he was, guys. It's going to cost you an 88 and 86 rated squad for Sergio Busquets. And he has got an absolutely ridiculous card. 87 pace, 95 dribbling, 87 shooting, 94 defending, 93 passing, and 91 physical. He is six foot two, medium high work rates, right footed, four star, four star. Now, with that shooting, I'm hoping you might have to play this card as a central midfielder. In terms of traits, he's got leadership and team player, so nothing too good there. But the four star, four star is really nice, and his alternate positions. Comes out as a CDM, but can also play centre mid. Now, on new gen, might have the ability to make him lengthy. It all depends on that agility and the strength. So, as we go into the in-games, oh, my word. Eight, oh, my word. 83 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. He's got 99 attack positioning with 94 finishing. 86 shot power, good for the Travellers. 76 long shots, 70 volleys, and 84 penalties. Max out vision at 99. Max out short pass at 99. And max out long pass at 99 with 80 curve. He's got 80 agility, 80 balance, 96 reactions, 99 ball control, 96 dribbling, and 99 composure. Defensively, he looks absolutely ludicrous as well with 96 inceptions, 80 head and accuracy, 95 defensive awareness, and stand tackle with 94 slide tackle. He's got okay jumping at 83. He is 6'2". 93 stamina, which is really nice. 87 strength. And 98 aggression. Sergio Busquets is here, guys. I am so excited to review him. We are going to pop, I think, an anchor on him on Nugent to make him lengthy. Uh, as I think that's probably the best thing to do. So with the anchor applied, he goes up to 91 base pace. Goes up to 99 for interceptions, 84 for head and accuracy, 99 for defensive awareness, 99 for stand tackle, and 99 for slide tackle. 91 jumping goes up to 95 strength and 99 aggression. So that 95 strength is going to make him lengthy, which is really, really nice. So I think the anchor for new gen absolutely is the play. Probably is going to be for uh, old gen as well. So Busquets is going to be sitting in that CDM role. He's just going to anchor the team for us. We're going to get into a few games, guys, in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and see how good the king that is Sergio Busquets is with his end of an era 95 rated card. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. I think, guys, the first game with Sergio Busquets. Oh, man, I am so, so happy they gave this man a card that he deserves. You know, he... He kind of probably doesn't suit them stats. It's probably a bit overkill. He probably deserves like 70 pace, genuinely. Um, but he was so, so good for Barcelona. Genuinely, one of my favourite ever footballers. Oh, my word. Oh, that lengthiness is going to be really nice for him. For sure. And of course, he can go forward as well. Just like that. Oh, Sergio Busquets with the goal. You don't even need to play him in CDM. His stats are that good that you could play him as a box-to-box. -box. How crazy. Yes, go on, Busquets. Oh, my word. What a start. Find him. Lovely ball there from Busquets. Diaby's in. I've read it. He tackled it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Impressed already, guys. That lengthiness is going to make him one of the best CDMs on the game. And because he can do... The Travellers, because he hasn't got above the, the 89 shot power, really, really does make this card quite interesting. I'm going to try one more shot with him. And we will take stop taking shots with him after this. I want to try Finesse. Okay, never mind. Really, really good going forward, though, so far, guys. Really good. Of course, that's not all we want to test. I'll test how it's passing. 
Oh my god, that's unlucky. He he, he seems good. He seems good. And I just uh, had a thought as well. Oh, lovely pass. He might be on that same level as Jude Bellingham. If you compare him to Jude Bellingham's team... Of, nice. Nice. Jude Bellingham's team of the season. They're actually not too different. This biscuits again. Dribbling feels nice. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's a lovely goal. Absolutely brilliant goal there from Mbappe. Jesus Christ. Sergio Busquets has got a card worthy of all them years where he was underappreciated. Look at that pass. He feels good, guys. He feels good. We're, we're having him sit really deep here and just being able to play, make. And he's doing it as you'd expect from him. You know, he, he was a lot more simple than what I'm making him out to be here. Oh, that's poor. That do be poor there. Bring him back. Bring him back with his lengthiness. Nice. Into him again. See, he was very simple. He was very much like... Very, very much like that. It was kind of get the ball into him. One touch. Find a pass. And you can play like that with him as if you want it as well. This card's going to be... A fun, it's not only is it going to be a sick card. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, man. Go on then, Sergio. Oh, my God. His shooting's actually really, really... Fuck. I was going to swear there. Really good. Really nice shooting. Very impressed so far, guys. Obviously, it matters how he defends as well. You know, how good his tackles are and stuff like that. Go on. Yes! Complete this SPC. If you can fit him in your team, there might not be a better CDM on the game, guys. It's absolutely lovely football. Oh, it's liquid. Let that go in. Oh, what a goal. All right, guys, I don't usually do two live games in a row once we've got past like the 30 in-game minute mark. But for this card, I'm just going to throw it out the window. Because I'm enjoying this man, you know, and that's what matters. If he's going to be good, we're going to talk about him for longer. And he feels good, guys. As you'd expect from a card that's getting an end of an era, which has been one of the most unusable cards over the years on FIFA. Um... EA finally giving him what he deserves. And he, he really does feel the part. He really, really does. This is lovely football again here. Oh, that's just not where I've aimed it though. On oh, Sergio. Oh, that's unlucky. Obviously, man just about got away there. That's Busquets. I see him. I see where he's defending there. Get to it. Nice, Busquets. Uh, it's, it is one of them ones as well that I feel like if you play... In a one CDM formation, you're going to feel him a bit more. Because he, he very much is a pivot that can go forward if you want him to. Um, Incredible so far. Absolutely incredible. That's the only bad thing he's done. But I don't know why he passed that with his left peg there. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's a fruitful merchant. Let's get back here. Can we get back in time? A bit slow from Busquets there. Oh, my days. Nice. Find that then. Oh, that's poor from me. That is poor from me. What is Busquets doing there? So I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do too many ridiculous passes with him. But he was such a simple player. And it worked so well for him. I mean, his passing is ridiculous, so. Send it. Nice. Good ball. He's going to be so good at doing them as well, guys. Them Travellers across the park. Get it over. Nice. Busquets again. Oh, I just see it aimed into Modric there. That's annoying. That was annoying there. Should be able to cover this quite well with Sergio. He doesn't jockey too bad either. He doesn't feel lengthy on the jockeying. And I don't think a lot of players do anymore. Um, When you want to drive into space with him, that's when you'll feel how, how, he, how lengthy he is. There you go, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Find the ball as well, that's a lovely pass. You do have to play quite simple with him though, guys. And that's that's an issue that I just had there, as I wasn't playing sim very simple with him. And it uh, costed me a little bit. This guy's going to leave. 
Let's get into another game. All right then, guys. So now on to old gen with Sergio Busquets. And I feel like on old gen, he's not going to be as good because of the lengthy stuff. But lengthy's only really good in possession nowadays. It used to be really good out of possession. Not so much anymore. This guy looks like he's got a good team as well. So it'll be a really good test for Sergio. He certainly doesn't feel bad in terms of jockeying over here straight away, which is a good sign uh, straight away. And over here, it's going to be a lot more simple with him, I feel like. Um, the pass is going to have to be good. It's going to have to be quite quick passing with him. I do want to test out them uh, them Travellers again, though. If we can. Oh, good read, brother. Get to that. Nice. Well in. Busquets is there as well. I'm going to try and send that into Mbappe. Nice. I'm going to try and go for that Travella. I'm going to try and go for it. Busquets! Oh! Oh, man. He has got good tremendous for a CDM, though. I really do think, guys, you could play this card as a box-to-box. -box. He, he he has got stats that good. He's got 94 finishing. That's that's the level of finishing you'd expect on a, on a forward, you know. So he certainly does have a good bit of utility to where you can play him. You can play him as a right back. Honestly, you could. Um, a left back. Wherever you really... Centre back as well. Be very good in that centre back role, you'd hope. Oh my god, how on earth is that going? Fair play, what a finish. Ansu Fati. God damn, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, good driving abilities here. Oh man, he actually does feel really good in terms of dribbling. I don't really know what he's doing there, mind, but run and pay out. Oh. It's literally a scoop turn. But whatever. Okay. Bit tough here. That should have been one all there. If if that didn't if that didn't do a pass or whatever that was, uh, we would have certainly equalised there. And and do you know what? There's another thing about this card that's quite interesting. Compare him to Goretzka. You compare him to Jude Bellingham. Players like that. It's going to be very very interesting. I think Jude is quite a good comparison actually. And I might at half time in this game put Busquets into centre mid. Good driving abilities here. I'm going to look for that pass inside. Oh, so annoying because that's not where I've aimed it. He, he really doesn't feel bad. He doesn't feel slow. Either. You might want to go for a shadow on here, though. <clears throat> nice, Busquets. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Right, what have we got on here? I'm going to try and wait for that run of Baldy, I think. Or Balde, I should say. What a ball. Oh, oh my God. What a ball. Oh, Baldy. Baldy even, not Baldy. I always call him Baldy, but I know his name's Baldy. That's poor from me. Just kind of wasn't expecting it, I guess. It's going to be two, isn't it? Game's trying to rig. There we go, nice. I like how Busquets came short there as well. We needed the uh, passing option. That's just not what I've done there either, though, is it? God, he's offside. Drive into the space here. Busquets has got time. Looks like that pass into Mbappe. It's a nice pass. Mbappe can run. Mbappe. Oh, it's lovely. There we go. One all. Very nice. Busquets with the assist there. And he can do it all, man. He can do it all. Very nice. Go on, Serginio. He actually really does feel quite fast. Fair play. Go on, then. Oh, he's read me. Fair enough. This guy read what he does all the time. Oh, my God. Oh, that was liquid, wasn't it? Busquets again there. Needs to be winning that. Really. Really should be winning that there, if I'm being honest. Get back into the space here with Busquets. It, it's crazy to think that they've released a comp. It's, this really is the end of the game. You guys remember when we got the fuck birthday Kante? That seemed like last week. Now that card is very, very, very much useless. This guy really is just a cutbacker, isn't he? Tough. I hate playing against cutback. It's the only thing that I can't deal with on this game. Nice. Good pass. Get that in there. Drive into the space again. Oh, it's poor for me. Oh, we still got it though. Oh, lovely shot cancel. Lovely goal from Royce there. There we go. 2-1. This guy might go. All right, guys, this dude isn't going. I don't know what he done there, but <clears throat> he has decided to come back. So we'll stay live. Why the hell not? 
Nice, Busquets, nice. He, he gets around the pitch quite quickly for a big man. Have to say. I do think a shadow would be better on a, on a old gen though. Nice, Busquets. His tackles are so, so clean, I have to say. Oh my, oh my God, that kind of pressure is dirty. Nice. There we go. What is Sergio? He's in. Oh my God, what a tackle. Do you know what though as well, guys? I... It's very tough to sit here and say play him as a CDM because he's got sick finishing. I feel like he'd make an insane box to box with that kind of stuff. Oh, Mbappe. Oh. Team of the season Mbappe, by the way. Let's go to some highlights from here. All right, then, guys. So, three games played with Sergio Busquets. That's one on old gen and two on new gen. The best CDM on the game, the best centre back on the game, and one of the best box to boxes on the game, in my opinion. Now, first of all, before we get into the detailed analysis of this card, if you're going to play on old gen, if you play on old gen, put a shadow on him and get the anchor off. If you're playing on new gen, definitely, definitely, definitely go for the anchor to make him lengthy. This card's strange. First of all, because them shooting stats are crazy, crazy good. His Travellers are broken. Now, if you don't boost the shot power, You'll be able to get the good Travellers, and you'll see via the gameplay that his Travellers are really nice. Which allows you to play him in that box-to-box -box role if you want to. He can play it quite comfortably. You'll get all the things you get from the CDM role, but he has great shooting. So, if you want to play him as a box-to-box, -box, I think there's utility for that. So, yeah, the, the, the shooting is incredible for a CDM. I cannot fault that at all. He doesn't feel slow, but he did a little bit on old gen, so that's why I would suggest a shallow. He didn't feel slow on new gen at all. The passing is incredible. Over the tops to the fullbacks, brilliant. Uh, general driven passes, absolutely brilliant. Through balls, absolutely brilliant. Dribbling is crazy. And on new gen, the jockey and felt absolutely brilliant. And on old gen, the jockey and felt absolutely brilliant. Even at 80 and 80 respectively, on the agility and balance, he still felt really good in that regard. Defensively, his tackles are absolutely silly, which brings me on to my next point about the utility of this card. He would probably be the best centre-back on the game. If you wanted to use him there as well. I would say more so on new gen once again. He'd have to go for a shadow on old gen to make him good there. Um, but he would be so, so good at centre back. And he's good in the air as well, right? You know, he's six foot two with the anchor applied. He goes up to 91 jumping. He, he is very, very silly. Uh, his, his card is better than Modric, I would say. Let's quickly go and compare to a few of the other crazy midfielders on this game right now and we're going to compare him to centre mids so we're going to go and grab uh, De Bruyne go and grab Bellingham as well that's really it we'll, we'll take Pedri actually as well as that's a good comparison now Busquets has five less pace than Pedri the same dribbling he has four more shooting one more passing uh, he has got ten more defending and two more physical than this team of the season Pedri, who was meant to be a box-to-box. -box. So that tells you everything you need to know right away there. Compared to Jude Bellingham, yeah, Jude is a little bit better in almost every stat, but how similar do they look? Three less dribbling on Busquets. Three less pace, three less shooting. One less passing. One more defending and three less physical. And then to De Bruyne, more pace, more dribbling. A lot less shooting, but not really important. Uh, a lot more defending. A lot less passing, five less passing, and then five more physical. So midfielders, he is there with the best midfielders of the game. Now let's take a look at some centre-backs. So I've got all of these centre-backs, actually. So let's grab him, and let's grab you as well. So compared to Marquinhos, he's got three less pace, a lot more dribbling, of course, a lot more shooting, a lot more passing, one less defending, and one more physical than team of the season Marquinhos. Maldini, same pace, a lot more dribbling. Dribbling is actually really important on your centre-backs as well. Shooting is not. Passing is, and he's got a lot more passing. He's got more physical and only three less defending. And then the last comparison to make would be to the likes of Virgil, Delict, Militao. Excuse me there if you heard that. I've got a hay fever really bad at the moment. He's got three less pace than Militao. He's got a lot more dribbling. Shooting once again, of course. Defending is very much the same. Same with physical and passing is a lot better. So this Busquets really does hold his own against all of the players in midfield, in CDM, 
in centre back. So this card really has a lot of utility, guys. Go and complete him. A ridiculous card for a ridiculous price, in my opinion. 250k, I believe he's coming in at. He's amazing. You have to go and complete him and put him in your team. He will be the best CDM on the game, the best centre back on the game, and one of the best box to box midfielders on the game for you. So, guys, I'm going to rate him a 10 out of 10 on New Gen. I'm going to rate him a 9.5 out of 10 on Old Gen. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to miss a power review. But, guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So, take care.